Hey, what's up? Today we're going to create this candy cane. This video is part of a Christmas giveaway that I'm hosting in collaboration with XP Pen. Follow this tutorial, post it on your Instagram, and you will have a chance to win one of three drawing tablets from XP Pen. All the information you need to join is in the description down below. So yeah, let's do this. Okay, let's get started by adding a circle. And then we'll go into top view by pressing 7 on our numpad. Or we can press the tilde key if you don't have a um, numpad. And you can just press top. And then we go into edit mode. And then we're going to delete the bottom half of the vertices. And press X and V to, down, to delete them. And we'll select these two vertices. And we'll press E and Y to extrude them. And just extrude them a tiny bit. And then select this vertice and then press G and Y. And then we'll move that down a tiny bit more. And then with Control R, we'll add some more loop cuts. And with the mouse wheel, you can increase or decrease the amount of vertices you're adding. But I think this looks pretty sweet. Okay, then we'll leave edit mode. We'll go to Object and then here Convert and we'll convert it to a curve. We'll add some thickness here. So if we go to our curve settings, Geometry, and then we'll add Depth. I think we can make it nice and chunky. So um, I'll, I'll make it 0.4 so you guys can follow. Okay. And then now we can right click, convert to mesh. Okay. Then we go press tab into edit mode. Go into edge select by pressing 2 or the icon here. And then we shift and alt. Select these two outside loops. Press G and Y. And we'll move them out a tiny bit. And then we can press F to fill. Control B. And I'll add a nice round bevel. And again, you can increase or decrease the amount of bevels with your mouse wheel. There, that looks perfect. Okay, leave edit mode. Press Control 2 to add a subdivision modifier. Right click, shade auto smooth. And now we're going to do some magic. So press Tab to go into edit mode. Press A to select all. Go into Edge and select Unsubdivide. And then in the bottom menu here, we'll change our iterations to one. And this will give, give us these nice loops. So now we'll leave edit mode and we'll go into front view by pressing one on your numpad through your view menu and then press RX90. So there we go. And then we'll move it up a bit and then we'll start adding a background. So press Shift A, Mesh, Plane, and then press RX19 to rotate it and then we can move that backwards. And then press tab to go into edit mode and scale it all the way up so it covers our background. Go back into front view and then we'll add a camera. So shift A and add a camera with G and Y. Move it backwards. Go into output settings and we'll change it to 1920 by 1920. And then we'll press our view menu so you can press zero on your numpad to go to your camera view. Or we'll go here. And then we can press G and Z twice at the back so it's nice and screen. There, I think that looks perfect. Okay, so now we can place our candy cane. So maybe I'm gonna rotate it a bit. So you can just basically rotate it the way you want it. It's a trick if you press R twice, you can basically just rotate it however you like. So pick an angle you like and be creative with it. I'm just gonna keep it, keep it fairly simple for the tutorial's sake. And maybe scale it up just a bit more. There we go. Okay, then we'll start adding some lighting. So if we press set, and then we select a rendered. And then we go and go to shift A, light, and we'll add an area light. And then here we press RX90 minus, and then G and Y, and we'll move it behind our object. Go back into camera view. And then here in our light settings, we can increase the size so it covers our whole camera view. It's perfect. And then we'll change the power to like some like thousand. There that gives us this nice back glow. I really like how that looks. Okay, press Shift A, add another area light, press G and Z, move it up, press period to open your pivot point menu, select 3D cursor, and then press RX, maybe 60, and then R set 45 minus. And we'll see what angle we have here. Yeah, that's a pretty good angle. Okay. So let's uh, change the power of this to 200 maybe. So, uh, looks decent enough to start off with. 
And then we press Shift D, R Z 120. So we have a duplicate light on the other side. And then maybe we shine this a tiny bit from the bottom. So if you press R and then X twice, you can rotate it and then shine it from the bottom. And then maybe just make it a tiny bit weaker. Maybe change the power to uh, 120. There we go, let's see. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Okay, now we'll add a nice light to our background so it lights up the background as well. So we'll add a light, area light, RX90, and then G and Y and move it towards your background. Then we'll change our shape to disk. We can change the size to three. And then let's change the power to 500. See how that looks? If we go into view camera, we can see. It looks a tiny bit too strong. Maybe make it 350 there i'm gonna move it back maybe just a tiny bit as well see so why i move it back and then I'll maybe make it 420. you can just play around a bit with this light just look at your piece and see how it creates a nice gradient in the background and i think this will do for uh for this tutorial okay we'll start adding some colors so if we select our background we go to the material tab we'll add a new material We'll call this material background and then we'll change our base color to be B9FFAC. Nice green color. Now for the candy cane, we'll select candy cane and a new material of this white. And then the color is just going to be E7, E7, E7. But we'll change our roughness to be 0.2. This will give us this nice smooth look. Now we're going to add the red to it. So with the candy cane selected, press tab to go into edit mode. And we'll press base select, so three or the icon here. And then with shift and alt, select every other loop. Just like that. And then we'll click here to add a new material slot. And we'll press new to add a new material. And then we'll assign it to our selection. And then all we have to do is change our base color, which is going to be E7401D. And then we also want to decrease this roughness to be 0.2. There, that looks perfect. I really like how that turned out. Okay, then we'll change our world color. So if we go to our world tab, go to color, and then we'll change the color to be 73918E. There we go. Okay, that looks great. So then we'll go to render settings and we can just change this to cycles, device to GPU compute, change our viewport samples to be maybe 128 and this render samples to 512. You can leave it in, e in render engine to EV if you want. It works fine as well. And then if we scroll down in color management, we'll change our look. Be maybe high contrast, give it this really high contrast color and look. And I think I'm just gonna increase my background color, my background lighting a tiny bit. Just a tiny bit. Maybe make it 460. 460, there we go. Let's try something crazy, 600. Okay, 500, 500. That's good. There we go. And that's it. Thanks for joining me. If you have questions or requests, drop them in the comment section below. I'd love to see your results, so tag me on Instagram. If you enjoyed this tutorial, feel free to like and subscribe. See you soon.